Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am your host, The Dark Knight. It's that time again, so close the door, shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch Creepy paranormal videos that show 100% how ghosts, poltergeists and demons can disturb your life. The Walking Dead For our first case we're travelling to Texas and the city of Dallas to meet a woman called Bette. Three years ago while Bette was doing the dishes she spotted something strange out of the window across from her home. Little did she know back then that the strange figure pacing up and down through the trees would become a permanent feature for months and what her and her husband experienced changed their lives. This is her paranormal story. Beck grew up in New London, Connecticut and she worked as a bartender while she studied. She was into all things motorbike and that's where she met her best friend who later became her husband. Sometime after, the couple moved homes and set their roots in Georgia. They had three children and a dog called Karma. Then, one sunny day, while looking out of the window, she saw something moving through the trees. And so, she took out her phone and zoomed in to get a better look. And this is what she recorded. Watch. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see a figure pacing back and forth. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what's so strange about that? Well, the figure is always in black and you can't make out any details. The person would continuously pace back and forth without stopping for days on end. And every time Bet looked out of the window towards that area, the figure was always in the same place, just pacing up and down. Day by day, slowly by slowly, this lonely shadow figure took over Beth's attention and life. There were times when the mysterious figure would disappear, but it never lasted, and Beth was too afraid to go over and check it out. So, she would record the walker day by day, week by week, and month by month, and later she uploaded all of her videos to TikTok, which is how I came across her case. Taya, get over here. I can't even zoom in any closer. You see it? It just walks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All of these videos were recorded by Bet and stored on her phone and left for a long time. Before, she uploaded them all in one go to social media. But according to Bet and her comments, even after uploading the videos, the shadow figure was still there, in the same place. Bet even thought it could be a homeless man or someone who had mental health issues. After all, come rain or shine, the figure was always there, walking back and forth. Bet had been to that area before whilst walking her dog and 
She said there was nothing there. Okay, so everybody that's been kind of curious, this is the church that's directly across the street from my house that I was explaining. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Um, yesterday I went, yesterday was Easter. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out, and uh, it was time to go. Then we had the storm, so as soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today's like day five. So. What's wrong, Karma? Hmm? What do you see over there, bud? What do you see? What? Then, the dog started to sense something. At night, Karma would stare over in that direction and bark. It's like he could hear and see something that Bet couldn't. A human adult can't hear sounds above 20,000 Hz, but on the other hand, dogs can hear sounds as high as 65,000 Hz. So, in other words, dogs have better hearing than us and a superior sense of smell. I, about a month ago, around Easter, I had taken um, a video of what looked to be like a shadow figure walking around across the street in the woods. And it's it's looking directly out my front window, so it's a little hard not to notice. Um, I initially took the video to send it to my friend, and she thought it was just super creepy. So... Um, I started taking a couple more videos, I posted them on my Facebook so just my friends and family could see, and um, this went on for days, and he paces back and forth for hours and hours, not, not just for 20 minutes at a time, this is hours and hours and hours and days, weeks, I mean here we are a month and a half later and it's been still there. Now there, there was about a week and a half where I didn't see anything. Although the trees are a little fuller now with all the rain and, and sun, so it's a little fuller. It is a little harder to see, but you can still see this shadow walking back and forth. Um, I wasn't sure if it was just maybe somebody with a mental illness, um, but hours and hours and days and days, day or night, um, that's a long time. So I... Um, I will have my husband go over with me tomorrow. Um, he hesitantly agreed. I think really he could just care less, but he agreed to walk over there with me so I could record it and kind of show everybody what what I find. Um, yeah, so there's no camera tricks. I, I'm a 44-year-old mother of three. I have no clue how to use this stuff. Um, so... I will uh, take you guys over there tomorrow and, and share with you what we find or what we don't find. So one day, Bet decided she'd walk over to that area where the shadow figure was. And so, with the support of her husband, the couple made their way over. And this is what happened. Watch. It's a shitty phone. Mm -hmm. All right, it's what's today Memorial Day. Yep. We're gonna. My husband has agreed to walk me over and see what we can find. And I can't believe you talked me into this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to go over by myself anymore. Uh. 
so it's right up here usually where you see it. I know. I but beyond that is all swampy. Is it going to be... And it's the power lines too, so... Okay. Somebody's working on a truck. Yep. Okay. Be careful. Well, here's the spot. I don't see anything. No, I don't either. I mean, it's pretty full. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? Do you need help? Fuck! Do you need help? Fuck! So, as you just saw, Bet and her husband walked over to where the shadow figure always paces up and down. And, as you can clearly see, Bet is with her husband, but some people didn't believe her and accused her husband of hiding in the woods and screaming, but the date and the time of the CCTV footage and the video of the couple walking towards the trees both match, so that proved that it wasn't her husband pretending to be the shadow figure. As the couple got close, Bet shouts out, do you need help? And a couple of seconds later, you hear a creepy, sad voice howling out in response. Well, that was too much for the couple, and I don't blame them. This is the moment uh, we turned and ran. I know it might not seem that scary on camera, but when we were up that close, it was so loud, and it was just this almost guttural scream. Um, this is, uh, the moment we heard it and ran. You can kind of see us back there. And we took off. My poor husband was like, fuck this. He kept looking back. Um, I think at one point he was like, fuck TikTok, I'm out of here, this is done. Um, I know a lot of people said, let's just hope it doesn't follow you home, so, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen from here. So up until now, Bet had never got close to the shadow figure. At first, she thought it was a homeless man, and then maybe someone who was mentally unstable. But, because of the way her dog reacted, and because the shadow figure disappeared whenever she got close. And because of the howling scream, Bet and her viewers started to believe more and more that they were witnessing something paranormal. And after entering the area where the shadow figure paces back and forth, Bet's viewers were worried that it might follow her back home. And it turns out they might have been right. Watch. My dog's going nuts. He's just out here barking like crazy. I swear. I swear I can hear screams. My dog's going nuts. I'm just out here barking like crazy. I swear. I swear I can hear screams. And then things started to go downhill for Bet. You can see 
it started to affect her mentally and physically. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a, a quick update. Um, today's May 31st. Please excuse my appearance. Uh, we are not sleeping well. Um, we've just had a few things happen around our house outside last night. Um, so, um, I'm going to spend the day with my family, spend a little quality time with them, focus on the positive, um, and um, I'll give a, a better update a little later. My husband's actually going to check our security cameras and see um, see if we can share what happened and um, take it from there. So. So the night before, while the family was sleeping, the motion detector cameras were triggered. Bet says that her and her husband heard a loud scream by a man coming from the front of the house. So Bet's husband got up to investigate. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to do this last part in two videos or less. All right, this is a view from our security camera you can see the church over there um, there's nobody there nobody has gone in or out there's not even a car driving by um, there's nobody in our yard nobody in our driveway um, sorry our timestamp is completely wrong I know this because at about 2 a.m. we hear what sounds like a male just screaming and I can show you the moment it happens because you'll see that. What is that? It's like... And I know it's this moment that it happens because in about a second, my husband grabs his gun and he runs outside. Um, you'll see him. There's the spotlight. There's my husband. I apologize. He's in his underwear. Um, he goes around the corner, see if anyone's over there. There's nobody in our yard. Nobody. The cameras were triggered, and they're triggered by movement, yet nobody's there. At this moment, he it said he, he said it sounded like someone was running up the driveway, so he ran back over to check. Um, nothing. Nothing. So, my question is, it's not raining? It's not, what's that? <laughs> right there. And it just so happened to be at the moment we hear that scream. Yeah. I don't so unfortunately, their CCTV doesn't record sound, but from a husband's reaction and from everything we've seen and heard, I have to say, I believe her. If you think about it like this, at first, Bet sees a person walking up and down in the field, across from her home. So, she starts showing an interest and watches it day by day. Then, she decides to get closer to where the mysterious shadow figure paces back and forth. She communicates with it by asking if it needs help, and then it answers her back in the form of a scream. The couple get scared and run straight back to their home. Then, sometime after, their dog starts growling and barking, looking in that direction. And then finally, the couple are woken up in the dead of the night by a loud scream right outside their house. So even if the shadow figure isn't a ghost, and is indeed a homeless man, or someone who has mental health issues like Bet thought, then it's scary to think that he could have followed them back home and seen where they live. I don't know what's worse, being followed home by a ghost or a person with bad intentions. So, what do you think about this case? I know what I believe, but I'm more interested in your theories. So drop me a comment. I didn't show you all of Bet's videos because of time. So, if you need to watch it again 
and the videos that I didn't feature, then jump on over to her account. The name is on screen. And when you get there, don't forget to tell her the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. The Ghost Review For our next case, we're checking back in with Wynne, who is a photographer and also does reviews for electronics, home appliances like TVs, speakers and cameras. He's also a husband and a father. According to Wynne, his home has always been a little bit haunted, but it got worse during the pandemic. Wynne started noticing the activity more because he was at home a lot more because of COVID. So, with nothing but time, he started to communicate with the entity in his home. And he said he regretted it because although it was fun and interesting at the start, literally overnight, he found himself in the grip of the paranormal. And even though he tried to make light of the situation as to not scare the kids and to be strong for his wife, the real truth was Wynne was terrified. And so he played it for the family and for the cameras. But it got so bad that the family moved homes. And unfortunately for them, the paranormal followed. Wynne's account has been quiet for some time, but recently he said for some unknown reason the activity started again. And so he started posting again. Let's go back to the beginning. Hey guys, now that I have a second in this quarantine, I wanted to show you, introduce you to our little friend here. Uh, he doesn't really like it when you whistle. My heart okay, so that's a lot of fun. And once you do it once, you just keep going. Um, let me, let me just, here. So he doesn't like it when we whistle. So thanks for checking us out, coming by, and that's that's just what he does. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right, it's staying late at night. Got woken up out of a dead sleep. Smells like rotten eggs in the house. Kids are asleep. My wife's asleep. Nobody was here. But I got this idea that maybe he doesn't like it when you whistle, or is it that she doesn't like it when you whistle? Okay, that's new. Ooh, it's like something is right in front of me. Nope. 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 Okay. Holy. Alright, it's time for bed. Y'all, y'all made me. Okay. Good night, everybody. Okay. That's not okay. Stop. Go to bed, man. Want to enter or dwell in a new home? There are rules that they must abide by, just like we do. And door knocking is one of them. The act of door knocking is symbolic. It tricks the homeowner into letting the spirits in. When the owner opens the door, they are unwittingly gesturing the spirits to enter and once the spirit enters it has full access to every nook and cranny of your home so please for you and your family's sake be careful practice safety and look out of the window or peephole Wynne made a terrible mistake and as soon as that door opened something came running in listen again you can even hear the footsteps when the door opens. Listen. We're dozing off when we're woken up by a loud bang downstairs and the doorbell rings. Like, it just rang probably like five minutes. I went down there, I checked the doors, and nobody's at the front door. I mean, seriously, whoever this is. 
get to the bottom of it. If that works, I'll stand out here until sun shows back up. Okay, I'll, I don't care. I'll stand here and watch it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a nice one. Get that. Holy. Okay. Oh my gosh, not this again. Not this again. Oh my gosh. So obviously we've had this ghost for a while. Yeah, we've tried sage. We've tried all that. That's why we kind of made a joke out of it. But based on all of your advice, I have taken a couple of items that I've inherited from my family's 60 year business in Mexico. And I've inherited a lot of stuff. So one by one, I've been sticking a couple of things in this box in the basement. Now when my wife said that she whistled today and she heard something in the basement, so. I'm not really sure if I should. Ooh. <laughs> We've been stacking up these boxes for the kids to sit and play with. Oh, jeez. No. We'll go down. Take a look at hell what that is tomorrow. In the immortal words of one Norwegian YouTuber, did you see it? Let's break it down. Play with. Oh, jeez. No. We'll go down. Take a look at hell what that is tomorrow. As Wynn runs up the stairs, a roar or a growl can be heard from behind him. And then, there was this. As Wynn exits the basement, you can see a tall deformed shadow figure peering out from the door. Whatever this is, I'm certain it was the owner of the growl. The thing about shadow figures, they can project themselves how they look and come in many different shapes and sizes. And then, just like it always does, after a period of time, the paranormal activity got physical. Watch. Okay, so you guys have asked me to check in on this. I told you it'd take me a few days to settle down. I think I pinpointed the cause of this ghost. And I honestly think it's this money. I have this money from all over the world. Australia, Malaysia, Japan, Hong Kong. But anytime I get close to this change here, I just, I feel this. I'm going to move closer and listen. Ah, oh, dude. Just real quick, this is part of what's in the box that I've been switching out to figure out what's in there. Dude. Hose oh, right in the tooth. Uh, I'm not playing with this anymore, dude. I mean, it's even back here. I'm not. This set's from Dubai, Afghanistan, Iraq, Canada, Mexico. That hurt. Now, before you watch the next clip, turn off all your lights or go into a dark room and turn up the phone's brightness. I keep hearing sounds in my bathroom. I don't know what it is. I haven't whistled, I haven't messed with this thing. Holy crap, no freaking way. Did you see that? Yes. Did you see that? It's okay. Okay, you'll see I'm cutting, so I'm gonna go nice and slow here. Right in there. There's no way somebody slipped out right there. My back's against the wall. There's nothing in the closet. No feet, no nothing. Holy crap. Nope. Uh -uh. Not tonight. <sighs> the video starts looking into the bathroom just as a shadow figure walks past the doorway. The other voice in the video belongs to Wind's son, who sounds terrified. 
We've seen this type of entity before on my channel a few times. Dino Nuggets is one such haunting that comes to mind when I see this type of entity. And another is Sabia L. <laughs> Normally, when you encounter a shadow figure, they're just that, a shadow, almost two-dimensional and very transparent and fast. And then you get a different breed of entity, one that's solid and three-dimensional, almost like it's alive. And it's very threatening. Wind jumps into bed just as the video cuts out. You see the blue light being partially blocked by the entity as it appears once again. It's starting again. What's going on again? Hello? Days like today are no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Can I get it out? Stay there. It's okay. The following clip you're about to watch is from a doorbell camera pointing directly in front of Wynn's new home. From the right hand side, you can see a cloudy figure and it actually manages to activate the floodlights. Watch. <laughs> there this time. Hello? Hey, no, 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 no. No, stay there. Hey. Oh my God. Dude. It's okay. It's okay. One night, Wynn was in bed when suddenly he heard laughing. So according to his comments, he said he felt, quote, strange 
and smells something like rotten eggs. As he walks towards the shadow figure sitting down, you can hear it laugh. And then, Wind's dog Harry starts growling and moving towards the shadow figure. And that's when it disappears. You guys are hearing that, right? Hello? Ever since our cat passed away, things have kind of been picking up. I'm not going back there. Hello? Damn it. Who are you? Get the hell out of here. Jeez. Dude. Stop. see what I'm seeing but <laughs> this is on repeat this happens over and over and then the knocking happened the knocking there it is and it just goes and goes until you touch stop can you stop please I mean, it's just right there that's new Okay. Whatever you are, you gotta go. And that's... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. Yes? Hello? What is that? Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Leave my lights alone. Wynn's working on his laptop when he hears a voice calling out. He knows straight away it's not his kids because he was the only person in the house. So he calls back while recording and once again from the same area a shadow figure can be seen. Wynn checks the bathroom immediately where the shadow figure was but the bathroom is empty. Then as he walks away it appears again. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. I've been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. It's, stop. Hey, buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. You got to cut it out. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just going to set it up. Paper towels. And we'll just let the phone roll. I asked you if you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. Wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. Just, holy cow. Oh my god. Little buddy. Then, two weeks ago, Wynn uploaded his most recent update. In this short one minute clip, you can see a shadow figure walking up the stairs. To me, it looks like it's formed an attachment to Wynn, but it also could be someone else in the family. Hopefully, not one of the kids. The basement door keeps opening and Harry the dog keeps barking at the shadow figure that can be seen on the stairs. Now remember, 
Sometimes you can't see these entities with a naked eye. It all depends if they want you to see them or not. But regardless, they can always be seen with a camera. If everything we've seen is 100% genuine, then I'm very concerned for Wynne and his family. This entity is most definitely intelligent and the haunting is only just beginning. Thank you. The Polish Poltergeist At the end of 2021, a certain Polish account on TikTok became very famous because of the insane amount of poltergeist activity in his flat. The account belonged to a young student called Sam, but sometime during the height of this haunting, all the videos and the account suddenly got deleted with no reason why. Ever since then, I've always wanted to delve into this case because I found it absolutely terrifying and interesting at the same time. The account was called Username Who Zero, and its owner was a young man who moved into a new flat and literally on the same night started experiencing some of the most active and terrifying poltergeist activity I've ever seen. There was nothing strange about the activity at all, it was just plain angry and only one person ever lived and experienced through this frightening, paranormal nightmare. What made things even worse, the activity mainly happened in the middle of the night, and as soon as the morning came, all the activity would stop. Sam was a student, and during the day he'd be at university, which was a short distance from the flat, and as the days went by, because of the paranormal activity, he got more and more tired, not being able to sleep at night and having to get up and study during the day. His education started to suffer straight away and so too did his appearance. So he started keeping a video diary to show people what was happening in his home. So on the 30th of December 2021, he recorded and uploaded his first video diary and straight away everyone took notice. Watch! Hey, ogólnie, to od jakiegoś czasu cały czas. Cały czas coś właśnie takie dziwne hałasy. Sam was laying in bed and he could hear something just outside his bedroom door. So that's why he started recording. Just as he starts describing the noises, all of a sudden something made of glass falls to the floor. And then you hear fast footsteps just outside the door. 
As Sam peers around the corner, you see the glass object that fell onto the floor, which was a bottle of vodka. Just then, the sound of running water can be heard. This becomes an ongoing occurrence as the days go by. Also, the flat itself looks fairly modern. I couldn't find out any backstory or history of the building because the account has gone offline. So, the reason why it's haunted could be anyone's guess. A ritual could have gone bad, or a death, or something else very traumatic. Whatever happened in this flat, it must have been very serious to cause such angry paranormal activity. And then, the activity gets really bad, really fast. Then, just three days later, Sam was watching a movie in bed when all of a sudden, and with absolutely no warning at all, something started pounding on his bedroom door. Watch. Hey, tak, chyba od pół godziny cały czas mi coś nawala w drzwi. What? What the fuck? Nie, ja pierdol. So it's cool, but... The next night was even worse. This was now the third day he had experienced this haunting. And it always happened in the middle of the night. Whoever or whatever this entity was, it had the strength and ability to open the bedroom door. Now that takes a lot of energy and time. For example, turning door handles and taps, moving chairs and making noises. This all comes with practice. Now, this might sound silly or unbelievable to you, but hear me out. Think about the paranormal like this. When a ghost is formed for whatever reason, it has to learn to do everything all over again. But now, it doesn't have a physical body, so it's a lot harder, which takes a lot of time, practice and energy. It can get very frustrating for the spirits trapped in a building, unable to leave or even open the door. So when you communicate with an entity, it will use your energy and get stronger and as a result of this exchange, the haunting also gets stronger too. Dzisiaj tak spędzam noc. Oh, 
Oh fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? Kurva! The next night, Sam knew what to expect. So, this time, he locked his bedroom door and jumped in bed and started watching a movie. Then, sometime later, he heard movement outside his bedroom door. It's scary to watch and to think about how the entity tried to come in. This is proof that this haunting is intelligent. Ja pierdolę. Co tu się kurwa dzieje? Ja, to... Kurwa... What the fuck? What the fuck? Ja pierdolę... Kurwa! What the fuck? Nie... One evening... While Sam arrives home, he finds the entire flat has been trashed with the lights flashing and the water running. First the door on the right hand corner slams shut and then his bedroom door slams too. But this time, as he goes to open it, a force on the other side pushes it back. Ej, ja pierdolę, naprawdę już mam dość, cały czas słyszę, jakby mi coś kurwa dział po przedpokoju, już naprawdę mam dość, nie mogę spać. Jak widzicie, specjalnie poprzesuwałem wszystkie rzeczy, bo kurwa, mam już dość patrzenia na te pierdolone drzwi. Ja pierdolę. Nie. O kurwa, co jest? O. Nie. O. Co jest kurwa? Wow! In the final clip, as Sam turns off the water and makes his way back to his bedroom, he looks in on the kitchen and he sees everything has been turned upside down. Well, that was enough for Sam, and after this post, his account went quiet. And then, sometime after that, all of his videos were deleted. I wish I could have investigated this account or even contacted Sam when his account was active. Well, so there you have it. So what do you think about this case? Do you think it's genuine or... Is it a carefully orchestrated fake by Sam and some hidden friends? Without being able to contact Sam or research the building, I can't really give you a definitive answer. But it is compelling. If there are any Polish viewers out there watching this, I'd love to hear what you think about this case. For everyone else, this is when I say, if you want to watch the videos again, then jump on over to his account. The name is on screen. But of course, in this situation, we can't because for some unknown reason, all of his videos on his account were deleted. So, if there's anyone out there that can help me understand this case and Sam a bit more, or if there's any Polish viewers that know about this haunting, then please drop me a comment down below. Thank you.
Joseph's Ghost. The next case you're about to watch I featured on my channel before, but at the time I only showed you one of his videos because I wasn't aware that he had uploaded another seven. So let's take a trip back in time to Texas 2011 and a young man called Joseph. When these videos were recorded, Joseph lived in the apartment with his girlfriend. Everything should have been perfect. A new job, a new apartment, a new start. But unfortunately, it became apparent very quickly that their new home was haunted. Joseph's girlfriend didn't like being alone in the apartment because of the paranormal activity that would happen when Joseph was at work. And so she moved out. This caused a rift in their relationship because what should have been a new start for the couple turned into a paranormal nightmare. So Joseph decided to record the creepy activity in his home and upload it to YouTube in the hopes of getting some help and advice for his paranormal problems. Remember, I featured the first video on my channel before and that's the main footage that a lot of people have seen. But since then, I came into possession of the other seven videos that haven't been viewed that much. So let's start from the beginning back in December 2011. Watch. Hey guys, uh, I'll do a video day, do a little bit of an experiment. I've had some kind of weird stuff happening in my apartment here lately. My girlfriend's out of town. Uh, but uh, every time we go to bed, we end up seeing some strange stuff. Things aren't where it's supposed to be. There's not uh, doors that are open that we know that we close, like our bedroom. Uh, just weird things that we can't explain and she's on vacation so I decided that I would try to investigate this while she's gone because she gets creeped out by ghosts and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to show you all the house and kind of show you what's going on. Show you that this is all pretty legit stuff. So let's check it out. As you can see, it's the main hallway. It's the laundry room. Cool stuff, right? Laundry room, you see in there. I ain't gonna open that other door because this place creeps me out. Bathroom, all the bathroom stuff, yeah, we'll be. And here's the spare bedroom. A more air mattress, awesome. Closet, also awesome. And where we've seen most of the stuff happen is right here in the bedroom. Kind of weird. Maybe that whatever it is has a thing. It's the bedroom. I'll show you everything and I will back out to show you that I have no nothing to hide. That's behind the door. That's the closet. It's the side of the closet. There's nothing in this closet. Okay. Here is the bathroom. This is me. This is the bathtub that is behind the door there. And once again, as you can see, there's nobody here. Just me in this whole house. I'm going to walk. And I'm going to go over here and shut off these lights, though. Got to save electricity. Open my hat. And turn off that. And still, as you can see, nobody come behind us. Nobody's here. Behind this door, just in case any of y'all's wondering, everything is empty. And I'm gonna walk backwards just to show you the same trick. Some kind of weird stuff. I got some absolutely weird, crazy stuff going on in this house, I think. So we're going to uh, we're gonna film it, and hopefully I can give y'all something to look at. And I'm gonna mount you right here on this camera stand. Maybe we can get something on tape. Anyways, guys, I'm going to turn out the lights. I'll leave the, 
I'm going to leave some of the lights on because I'm just kind of scared of this place. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to bed and turn this light off. And, hell, I don't know. I guess that's good, right, guys? What do you think? Nah, we'll turn. I guess we'll turn. We'll just leave the hallway light on. All right. Hopefully we'll see something in the morning. What the fuck was that? Fuck the hell? Hold on, guys. What the hell was that shit? Oh shit, let's not do that. Fuck. Y'all yeah, see, y'all thought this was a bunch of shit, man. What the hell? Fuck that light was on. See guys, that's the shit I'm talking about. Right here. Closing this door just to prove there's shit going on. This house, man. Nobody there. There's nobody there. There's nobody there anywhere it's creepy guys it's extremely creepy all right guys I, i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go uh stay at a friend's house tonight hey guys welcome back to my apartment uh about to go to bed again i've been filming the bedroom for the past three nights and uh haven't had any luck so we're going to swap up the rooms a little bit, check out the living room. Some crazy stuff's been happening here lately, so we're going to see if we can catch something. I haven't had anything good in the past three nights, so we'll check it out. And I'll be sure to edit most of this, like, all that delay time. I know my first video was kind of long because I showed you all everything, but uh, anyway, this time uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of show you what happens if there is anything that happens. Hope there's not, but if there is, at least it's entertaining, I guess. It scares shit out of me. And uh, after doing some research, it's not a ghost in my apartment. It apparently is a demon. Yeah, it's not cool. But anyways, guys, good night. I'll see you in the morning. I hope I'll see you in the morning. Let's put it that way. Almost one week later, and on Christmas Eve, Joseph recorded another video. But this time, the recording took place in the living room because, according to Joseph, paranormal activity happens everywhere, but he only has one camera. His viewers at the time asked Joseph to show the other rooms, and so he does. Joseph makes a comment about what's in his flat. He says, after doing some research, it's not a ghost in his flat, but it's a demon. As usual, 
he leaves the camera running and he goes to bed. At first, there's a knock and then all of the balls on the Christmas tree start moving. The tree itself doesn't move, only the baubles. And then something moves or hits the camera. Hey guys, uh, we're back again filming another video of uh, a little bit of uh, paranormal activity in my apartment or a ghost demon whatever so I'm gonna do my normal thing I'm gonna film the uh, room maybe things won't be too bad it'll be interesting Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Just filming another, hopefully, activity session. Had anything in a few nights? It's been, uh, it's been kind of crazy. I had, uh, I had a small bit of activity, but the lighting was so bad on my camera, it, it doesn't even look like anything. So there was no point in really posting that. We're just gonna film this area. I've been filming everywhere in my house. I only have one camera. I know y'all are like begging me to get another camera, but I just don't have it. So. I don't have the money for it either. But guys, have a good night. See you in the morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, just filming another little paranormal session, hopefully. 
Uh, last one we got was really good, but I filmed the kitchen for the past three or four nights, and I haven't had a freaking thing happen, so I don't know about that. I'm going to go to sleep, and maybe we can get something, but hopefully it's not as crazy as last time because that was kind of kind of creepy and a little scary and dangerous. So, Anyways, we're going to film the room as usual. Everything. Try to show you all everything. Show you all in here. Bathroom again. There's me. There's everything. And tub. And everything up around. I know I've had a lot of comments about everything. I appreciate all the good comments. And I know there was going to be some criticism with all videos, but I'm making it for the people that actually believe in this stuff, and I am now a believer when I used to not be, so here we go, so let me get the lights, and since we are uh, done with the bathroom, okay, and I will see y'all in the morning. Oh, it's really hard to sleep with the backlight, of course. What is that? Great with camera guys. Doesn't look like anything in here, guys. 
Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, filming just another session. If not, I know y'all probably watched all my videos by now, so you all know how things work. Uh, I'm going to answer a few questions. The first question is about my girlfriend. She did move out. She hasn't been here in a little while, and we're not going to go into detail with that. Uh, second thing is the uh, babe powder and everything like that. I like that idea. I'm going to do it. I just have to decide if I want to start cleaning it up or not. And the third thing was the paranormal investigator. Uh, I haven't found anybody again. The guy that ditched, uh, pretty much uh, bitched out <laughs> on this. And uh, I saw him looking still, but uh, eventually I'll get somebody and uh, we'll go from there. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you all in the morning. And maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. Uh, just filming another little session. Uh, let's um, say I haven't had really had anything lately. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary that y'all haven't seen before. Just minor things moving and stuff like that. Uh, I've had a lot of activity in the bathroom, as y'all have seen. Uh, so I get, somebody submitted the idea, hey, why don't we film in front of a mirror? So I was like, well, the bathroom would be a good place since we have a lot of activity in here usually. Uh, but Anyways, I haven't caught anything in here in a while, but we're going to try it and see what happens. So, I guess I'll see you all in the morning, if I make it. But, uh, maybe we'll get something. Good night. Not a lot happened in the last couple of clips, but I wanted you to see them anyway, without any cuts. Paranormal activity isn't always furniture moving or footsteps. Sometimes it's hard to catch, and sometimes it's the noises and the things that go bump in the night. Sometimes it's what you don't see that makes it creepy. The paranormal can affect people in many different ways. It breaks relationships. It can make you homeless, it can make you stressed, tired, paranoid, scared, and it can make you depressed to the point of no return. For some people, they don't have another way out and the paranormal makes them take their lives. The reason to research, find and show you these videos, cases and stories is to open your eyes to the paranormal. There are still many people out there that don't believe in ghosts spirits, poltergeists or demons, and regardless if you believe in them or not, the paranormal can still affect you. After these videos were uploaded to social media, sometime after, Joseph's channel went dark. In 2013, Joseph moved out of that flat and moved into a new one with his girlfriend, and things were okay. 
I like to think that Joseph moved into his new home with his girlfriend and they lived happily ever after. I hope you're happy and I wish you and your girlfriend peace. Thank you. If you've seen something scary, creepy or amazing and you've captured something paranormal on camera or maybe you're a paranormal investigator and you need some help to get your content out there or you might be unlucky enough to live in a haunted house and you need some help and advice because you think you're all alone. Well, you're not. Project Dark Knight Horror is here for you. So, send in your videos, clips, links, photos, stories, ideas and more to Project Dark Knight. The email is on screen. Thank you. The Haunted Mansion For our last case, I'm revisiting Jen Barari and family who live in a very haunted 1700s colonial style house. Jen's haunting is quite famous on social media. In fact, if you type in her name, you'll see dozens of channels, accounts and shorts all covering her haunting. Jen lives with her wife Heather and their daughter Ray on a farm that was built in 1742 during the colonial times. The land that the main house sits on is vast with multiple properties. The house is over 300 years old and there's also a guest cottage and a barn, all very haunted. At the back of the property runs a river and we all know about the connection between water and the paranormal. There's also a forest nearby. To understand the haunting, you have to understand the history of the land and house. Built over 300 years ago, during the colonization of America after the Revolutionary War, this house, even though it's been refurbished, has seen a lot of history, war, sickness and death. It really is a testimony to American architecture. In the middle of the night, someone can be heard howling from the guest cottage and on many occasions, while Jen feeds her chickens, she's seen a face up high in one of the barn windows looking down at her, watching her. But whenever she checks, the barn is always empty. Jen's also reported seeing the apparition of a man walking out of the river towards the house and fading away right in front of her eyes. Also, one night while Heather was in the city, Jen was doing her rounds when she spotted the same man watching her. But this time, to Jen's horror, he was sitting inside her home. And of course, as usual, there was nothing there when she checked. Jen's no pushover. This woman knows how to look after herself and her own. She seems to me like someone who struggled and worked hard for what she's got. Last year on Christmas Eve, while little Ray was in her bedroom sleeping, the CCTV captured something strange. Jen got a notification on her phone and this is what she recorded. Watch.
Ray is asleep in bed and Jen and Heather are wrapping presents in another room. All is quiet. Then, all of a sudden, the door to Ray's cupboard opens on its own. If you're familiar with this haunting, you'll know that this has happened before. The cupboard door opens and Ray gets up and she starts talking to someone. Then, a couple of seconds later, the light flicks on and Ray falls back asleep. So one night, while Ray is at her grandparents, Jen and Heather were free to investigate using a new gadget. While walking the property, they spotted one of the building's lights were flashing. So they used the night vision binoculars and they spotted someone or something in the window. So they took a deep breath and they ventured into the cottage. That's the cottage. This is the house. You have the night vision. Holy shit. I don't want to go in there, but... See that? No. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. What are you talking about? Look at me. Let's see. Is it even open? I'll go in and come out. After this video aired on TikTok, one of Jen's viewers spotted something in the window. Watch. This is a photo of the main house when the lights were flashing. It was recorded by Jen and Heather was with her. No one else was in the house and their daughter was at the grandparents. So who 
is this. It looks like the woman with a pale face. So because of what happened the other night in Ray's room when her cupboard door opened, Jen decided to sleep in her daughter's bed to see if it was safe for her to return. Well, Jen got her answer and it wasn't good. While Jen is fast asleep in her daughter's bedroom, the cupboard door opens once again like something is looking out. Then. The light inside the cupboard flashes twice. And then something really creepy happens. But that's not the end of the clip, because after the ladies left the room, this happened. In the next video, Jen was putting her chickens away in the coop for the night, when from the tree line she heard strange creepy sounds. So she took out her phone and started recording, but unknown to Jen, she wasn't alone. Something was watching her. What the fuck? You guys hear that? I'm sure there's wildlife on the property, but the sounds that Jen records are really strange, even for me. It sounds like talking at one point, and then you hear loud breathing. For something to be breathing that loud, you should have been able to see it. 
Jen didn't see anything, but there was something there. Watch. A white figure can be seen in the tree line watching Jen. Because it's so far away, we can't tell how tall it is. But it's not the only time this figure has been seen on Jen's property. As Jen pans the camera back, the mysterious white cloaked figure disappears. The amount of activity in Jen's house is ridiculous and she's had no choice but to live with it. When it gets too much, Ray and Heather will leave the property, but 90% of the time, Jen stays, even when she's on her own. This is an ongoing haunting, and Jen's always posting. Recently, she's had a few problems on TikTok with her content, so as of two months ago, she decided to join YouTube because it's a lot more stable, and she can post longer videos. We should give her all the support she needs because like I said earlier, this land is vast and it's seen so much history and death and as a result, the location is insanely haunted. So if you like what you've seen so far, then be sure to check out her earlier videos because they are unbelievable and they feature all manner of paranormal activity from footsteps knocks and bangs, light flashing, shadow figures, apparitions of a man and a woman with a pale face and a white cloaked entity. So I highly recommend you jump over to our TikTok account and watch the haunting from the beginning. Only then will you understand how bad it really is. And once you've caught up then jump on over to a brand new YouTube channel. The name is on screen and when you get there drop her a comment or two and show your support but don't forget to tell her the dark knight sent you thank you If you made it to the end, then I salute you. You prove that you're a true fan of horror. So remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, cursed objects, haunted houses and random nautica, animal attacks, serial killers and strange dark mysteries, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. If you like what you see and you think I deserve it, then can I kindly ask you to press the subscribe button for me it's absolutely free for you and just with the click of your finger you can help my channel grow and the bigger the channel the more videos I can make for you. This year my goal is to hit half a million subscribers so I really could use some help. Before you go I have three more quick things to talk about. First off if you're a fan of horror why not join Project Dark Knight on my private Facebook group there, you'll be in great company. We have lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds, from lots of different countries, but we all share one thing in common, and that is our love for horror. So click the link in the description section and join the group, and let's have some fun. Next, if you didn't know, I've designed some merch. I've combined my love for horror with my love for all things urban, and what you see is the finished product. So if you want to grab a piece of Project Dark Knight history, the link is down below. And remember, they are original to the channel and have been designed by myself, the Dark Knight. And who knows, when my channel blows up, these could become collector items. So grab them while you can. The link is down below. And lastly, 
I'd like to thank my lovely Patreons who have been a valuable member of Project Dark Knight. Some of the names on this list have been with me from the beginning. These names are Dawson Lip, Turtle Chief Nine, Andrew M. Gross, Laura Rohde, Cookie Ooh I Don't Know, Countess Monette, Greasy Cox, Donna Sayers, D. Michael Smith, Catherine Murphy, Trumpet, Anna, Love You Eminem, KJ Majid, Honey Badger, Charlie X24, Christy Santi Steven, Judah, Seth J, Asia C, Chris, Randy Crates, Martin Rabbi, Anthony Sornoff, Jacob Wilk, Cynthia Glover, Tommy Bowers, and Yvette Ramos. It's thanks to amazing, generous people like you who believe and support the channel that makes it possible for me to carry on doing what I love and keep the engines running at Project Dark Knight. And always remember, you've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am the Dark Knight. Signing off. Peace! Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by For you may be the next to die They wrap you up in a big white sheet From your head down to your feet They put you in a big black box And cover you up with dirt and rock